United States is about to unveil its secret space warplane atop one of the mightiest rockets ever built, sending waves of excitement and speculation around the globe. Buckle up and join us as we witness history being made in this mind-blowing spectacle of space exploration. Brace for impact as SpaceX's epic Falcon Heavy takes off, igniting a new era for NASA. Get ready to be amazed as you witness the craft ascend to breathtaking heights, propelled by mind-boggling power. The Falcon Heavy will unveil its cutting-edge space plane, revolutionizing the way we explore the great unknown. From advanced technological advancements to unimaginable feats, this awe-inspiring display will leave you speechless. Don't miss out on witnessing the very essence of innovation in this extraordinary SpaceX mission. Prepare for liftoff and embark on an out-of-this-world adventure. But what exactly is this enigmatic aircraft? And could this spaceship pose any danger to humanity? Watch the video till the end to find out. Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of my channel. St Are you ready to dive into the world of space secrets and cutting-edge technology? Today, we're going to explore the thrilling story behind the United States Secret of Space Project. The X-37B, shrouded in mystery, is not your ordinary spacecraft. It's a top-secret military project that has captured the attention of nations worldwide. Originally envisioned by NASA and developed by Boeing's Phantom Works, this craft was initially designed to be a life-saving vessel for astronauts aboard the International Space Station. However, NASA shelved the project, leading to its transformation into a military experiment overseen by the Rapid Capabilities Office. But why the fuss over this spacecraft? Well, it holds a crucial role in the military's quest for dominance in what they call space domain awareness. Essentially, it's about having a watchful eye on what's happening beyond our planet, knowing, observing, and if necessary taking action. It's like the first step in waging a war beyond Earth's atmosphere. Creating the X-37B wasn't a walk in the park. It faced numerous challenges along the way. Its design, with strong heat shields and large wings akin to the iconic space shuttle, suggests its capability for stealthy re-entries, crucial for clandestine missions demanding secrecy and strategic advantage. The space shuttle, while innovative, had its limitations. Its ambitious plans for polar orbits and covert operations faced setbacks due to design flaws and unexpected disasters like the Challenger tragedy. However, X-37B's strong heat shield and sizable wings resembling the space shuttle's design suggest something intriguing, cross-range capabilities. This means the ability to maneuver during re-entry, landing in different locations without being detected, a capability desired for strategic military operations. Now, let's talk about how the world sees the X-37B, especially countries like Iran. Despite the hype, the X-37B is unlikely to engage in anything aggressive this time. According to the U.S. Space Force and the Department of the Air Force Rapid Capabilities Office overseeing the mission, it involves a wide range of tests and experiments including new orbital maneuvers, space technology trials, and examining radiation effects on materials. There's a mix of civilian scientific experiments alongside something called space domain awareness, which might sound harmless but is essentially a military mission. Even the best laid space missions must yield to the forces of nature. The secret of X 37B space plane, part of the U.S. military's arsenal, was on the brink of its seventh orbital mission, set to soar atop a SpaceX Falcon Heavy rocket. However, the launch has been rescheduled to Monday due to an impending stormy weather forecast. A stringent set of 14 weather conditions must align perfectly to grant the all systems go status before ignition and liftoff. Now targeting Monday, December 11th for Falcon Heavy's launch of the USS F-52 mission, with weather conditions forecasted to improve to 70% favorable for liftoff on Monday night. Shared SpaceX on X. Also citing additional pre-launch checks to be conducted during the delay. The Space Force's 45th Weather Squadron anticipates a higher 70% chance of suitable launch conditions on Monday night. A stark contrast to the meter 40% forecast for tonight. A vigorous cold front sweeping the space coast prompts these cautious measures, spotting showers, winds, and cumulus clouds. The forthcoming launch is poised as the seventh voyage for the durable X-37B space plane, marking its inaugural journey hitched to a Falcon Heavy. While five of its preceding six missions were launched using United Launch Alliance's Atlas V rockets and one with the SpaceX Falcon 9, the Falcon Heavy reigns supreme, with its triad of Falcon 9 boosters as the primary stage, granting unprecedented orbital payload capacity. 
A statement from the Space Force cryptically implies novel mission aims for the X-37B's OTV-7, teasing out the prospect of operating in new orbital regimes. Launch aspirations coupled with the launch vehicle's robust capabilities suggest a trajectory that ventures farther and higher from Earth's bounds than customary. The decision to upgrade the launch vehicle may also revolve around payload mass. The X-37B boasts a spacious cargo bay to accommodate a suite of equipment and experiments, possibly necessitating the Falcon Heavy's enhanced lifting prowess. In the veiled world of X-37B missions, ambiguity is the norm. However, amidst the classified details, lies a beacon of clarity. USSF-52 carries at least one disclosed experiment. Each successive X-37B mission has been longer than its predecessors, with its most recent orbital jaunt lasting 908 days. With four launches already this year, 2023 has been the busiest year yet for Falcon Heavy. Even still, the company has one more schedule to happen in just a few days to bring the total to five. Interestingly, rather than your typical payload, this mission will be carrying the U.S. Air Force's X-37B spaceplane. Scud get to happen on December 11th, this mission is quite a big deal thanks to both the payload and launch vehicle being used. The X-37B is a military spaceplane that can perform a host of actions in orbit and can stay there for multiple years before returning for a runway landing. Here we'll go more in depth into this upcoming mission, why it's using the Falcon Heavy, final mission prep, and more. For a while now, we had known that the Falcon Heavy was scheduled for a mission late this year with the U.S. Air Force named USS F-52. Per usual, with military contracts, those practically all the information we had, and the payload, orbit, etc. who are all unknown. That was until a few months ago when they revealed that the X-37B would be the payload. This was big news as the X-37B has launched quite a bit before, but never on a launch vehicle as powerful as the Falcon Heavy. Instead, it would either use the Falcon 9 or an Atlas V. While not provided, this suggests that the space plane will be heading to a more distant orbit and needs the power of the Falcon Heavy. Even though most of this specific mission is kept secret, there are a few statements that provide insight into what to expect. In a statement early last month, the Space Force said, the mission, designated USS F-52, will conduct a wide range of tests, including operating the reusable space plane and new orbital regimes, experimenting with space domain awareness technologies, and investigating the radiation effects on materials provided by NASA. Focusing back on the space plane, it's extremely capable and can deploy satellites, host experiments, and a long list of other features left unknown. As far as how long it will be in space, its longest mission lasted 908 days, which is right around 2.5 years. As of right now, the mission is still scheduled to take place in a few days on the 11th. This was set to happen days prior, but was delayed. The launch site is LC-39A, a Canadian space center in Florida. It also looks like the center booster will be expended, providing additional power during the launch. The two side boosters, however, will separate and land back near the launch site on the ground. The X-37B weighs around 11,000 pounds or nearly 5,000 kilograms, which is well within the Falcon Heavy's capacity no matter the orbit. All the way back in 2018 was when this mission was awarded to SpaceX. Specifically, in June of 2018, the Air Force released a statement that said, the Air Force has announced the award of an evolved expendable launch vehicle where EELV launched service contract. SpaceX has been awarded a $130 million firm fixed price contract for launch services to deliver Air Force Space Command or AFSPC-52 satellite to the intended orbit. The contract provides the government with a total launch solution for this mission, which includes launch vehicle production, mission integration, and launch operations. At the time they also commented, AFSPC-52 is a classified mission projected to launch in late fiscal year 2020. Falcon Heavy has become quite popular with the military as a good portion of its launches include these government payloads. Just earlier this year for example, the Falcon Heavy launched the USS F-67 for a price of around $317 million. 
It also launched the USAF STP-2 and USSF-44, a popular choice due to its high payload capacity and availability. Something we can expect to see a lot more of as time goes on. Looking at the heavy lift launch vehicle schedule, it's expected to stay busy with consistent launches going into 2024 and beyond. A big improvement from a somewhat slow start. SpaceX has been continuously working toward an increased launch cadence on all of its vehicles. This has been especially obvious with the Falcon 9 as they attempt to launch one every couple of days. While not nearly as frequent, the Falcon Heavy is contributing to this as well with more launches than ever before. To put it in perspective, the first Falcon Heavy mission was in 2018. Between 2018 and the end of 2022, Falcon Heavy launched four times in total. In other words, it launched at an average rate of less than once per year. Then, 2023 began and it has already launched four times this year alone, we're the fifth mission just days away. In reality, there are a few reasons why the Falcon Heavy took so long to start launching frequently. One of the main reasons for this was the success of the Falcon 9. After developing the Falcon 9, SpaceX worked to improve and increase the launch vehicle's performance. On the other hand, when developing Falcon Heavy, the company was not exactly sure what the Falcon 9 would be capable of. SpaceX was so successful that the Falcon 9 became a lot more powerful than expected. So powerful that a lot of planned missions for Falcon Heavy ended up getting moved to the Falcon 9. In this case, different commercial companies needing a ride to lower orbit, for example, simply did not require the immense payload capacity that the Falcon Heavy offered. Instead, they opted for a less expensive ride on the Falcon 9. SpaceX sells Falcon 9 missions for close to $67 million, whereas a standard heavy flight goes for around $97 million. Another reason had to do with the lack of demand. The area where Falcon Heavy really shines is heavy payloads meant for distant orbits. The specific mission profile narrows down the options significantly and mostly includes military launches. Between 2019 and 2022, the need for such a powerful rocket was simply limited. Several planned Falcon Heavy launches were pushed back due to issues with our satellites. USSR-44, for example, was originally supposed to lift off in late 2020, but payload problems scuttled that plan. In addition, the review competitors that offered comparable capabilities, including Area Spaces, Area 5, and United Launch Alliance's Delta IV Heavy, which both launched within that time period. Lastly, around the time of Falcon Heavy development and lack of launches, SpaceX was ramping up work on Starship. It seems as if the company had a lot of plans but was unsure exactly what each project would be capable of and when. This packed full schedule and various options likely contributed to the lack of launches for various other reasons as well. These different factors, however, changed significantly in the last year alone. Starting early next year, the pattern of frequent Falcon Heavy launches is expected to continue with the Gozio launch. In September 2021, NASA awarded SpaceX launch services. Contract for the geostationary Gozio weather satellite. Next, the Europa Clipper mission will happen in the third quarter. Here, Europa Clipper will conduct a detailed survey of Europa and use a sophisticated suite of science instruments to investigate whether the icy moon has conditions suitable for life. Key mission objectives are to produce high-resolution images of Europa's surface, determine its composition, look for signs of recent or ongoing geological activity, measure the thickness of the moon's icy shell, search for subsurface lakes, and determine the depth and salinity of Europa's ocean. The mission will fly past Mars and Earth before arriving at Jupiter in April 2030. You then have the Viber mission in November and the NASA Artemis Gateway launch in December. While this mission could very well be delayed due to module progress, it still is not that far away. This launch would include the first elements for the Gateway Station as part of the Artemis program, awarded in February 2021. Maxer had already made $27.5 million in payments to SpaceX for the contract to launch the PPE, but later, NASA decided to launch both the PPE and Halo together. SpaceX is only a few days away from launching the X-37B space plan on top of the Falcon Heavy. 
this will add to the vehicle's busiest year yet and mark the fifth launch of 2023. And that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. And if you want to support our channel and if you want to be up to date, you can become an exclusive member. So click on our perks through the link in the description below. Thanks to watching and see you next time. By the way, are you familiar Talk Talk Philippines app? Talk Talk is a delivery service app designed to connect more people by delivering items door to door. For more information, download the TalkTalk Talk app, here down below.